Zacharias Ursinus was born in 1534, died in 1583. He, uh, his real name is uh, Zachary or Zacharias Bayer, uh, which is German for, for bear, and his Latin name is a pun. Uh, it should be Ursus, but as he was a, a big fellow, he called himself Ursinus, which is diminutive for little bear. So it was kind of a joke. It was an inside classical joke. Uh, Ursinus is uh, a pioneer of Reformed theology in certain respects. He, uh, although he didn't start out Reformed, uh, he was born in Silesia, which is today uh, a Polish area, but uh, then was German-speaking. Uh, studied under Philip Melanchthon and was Melanchthon's graduate assistant and traveled with him and studied with him for several years, I think perhaps seven years. So he was right at the center of the Protestant Reformation as it develops in the, in the uh, 60s, 50s, in, in the 1550s. Just after uh, Melanchthon's death, he travels. Uh, he's in Geneva, he's in Zurich, and he settles on uh, the Reformed side on a number of issues. Uh, for example, uh, the Lord's Supper, Christology, and how to talk about uh, election or the divine decree. And he becomes, uh, he's invited by Frederick III to join the, the faculty in Heidelberg, and so um, he, uh, he goes and becomes a, a really significant figure. He wrote a larger catechism, and that's where he, in 1561, and that's where he first explains the uh, covenant of works as distinct from the covenant of grace. Uh, and then he writes, he writes a smaller catechism, sort of a, a condensed version, and then out of that uh, he is the primary author of the Heidelberg Catechism. And then through his career, both in Heidelberg until 1576, uh, and, and, and then afterwards uh, in Neustadt uh, until his death in uh, 1583, he lectured on the Heidelberg Catechism. But he continued to use the larger catechism as well as a teaching document for his students.